Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break podcast and our summer school. This week it's all about loyalty. So let's dive right into it. Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Today we want to talk about customer retention strategies, specifically about loyalty programs. Now we have spoken about memberships, subscriptions, all of this. These are all parts of retention strategies. Loyalty is a different level and we want to dive a little bit more into that. On me, with me on the show today, I have Hemad Poswani. He has been before on the show and he's the co-founder and CTO of appstill.com. He's a coder by heart sold and mined, and he is driven by the need to provide the most robust and long-term viable tech solutions to merchants so that they can focus on what really matters most, growing their business. So let's welcome him to the show. Hi, how are you today? Good. Thanks for having me, Klaus. How are you? I'm very well. Hammond, last time we talk about, talked about memberships and subscriptions. This time we want to dive a little bit more in loyalty programs. Now, mm -hmm. loyalty, specifically in times like this where the recession is kicking in and people are a bit, bit more frugal when it comes to where they spend the money, loyalty is very important. Tell me a little bit more on your approach when it comes to keeping someone within your business and bringing them back. Yeah, sure. So uh, one of the reasons like uh, we launched loyalty is because we heard from our subscription and membership merchants like you know this is something they would want from apps the reason being uh we it integrates really well with our other two apps and what i mean by that is ultimately acquisition cost is going you know it's going up and up and uh what merchants want is a way to retain merchant uh, retain customers and a way for them of for a a merchant should be able to incentivize their customers in one way or the other and loyalty is just a step in that direction because uh, you know you are rewarded uh, for making a purchase you are rewarded for sharing your purchase on uh, social media like facebook twitter you are rewarded for referring someone else uh, you are even rewarded if you exceed certain threshold just like how airline industry is where you become gold platinum member and also we support all that so the idea is to basically help merchants to retain their customers and do it in a way which works. Uh, no, loyalty in itself, standalone, uh, works great, but it works even better with uh, subscription and membership because if someone has a subscription with you, now those points would be automatically applied to those subscriptions and you know automatically discount would be given. Or when someone buys a subscription, they would be rewarded points automatically. So it just, um, the, the entire, it, it's super seamless. Uh, you know, all three apps work together. Similarly with membership, ultimately membership is all about perks. And you wanna, uh, you know, with loyalty, we show all those perks in the loyalty widget. So it just adds up. And uh, yeah, that was the reason uh, we sort of started this app. And that's the whole uh, motive of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You already said at Absolute.com with the membership app that you have, you can um, basically reward people by giving them points and it becomes then part of the loyalty program. Now, loyalty can be a little bit of bribing. It can be a bit of motivation. It can be a bit of everything. Obviously, there's a sort of a letter in there. So where you go step by step and give them more, what would be the right approach for a merchant to do the first step to offer a loyalty program? So uh, one of the feature in our loyalty app is VIP tiers, where you can create multiple tiers uh, that, hey, if you reach up to, you know, uh, up to 1000 points, you're going to be just a bronze member. After that, from 1000 to 5000 points, you would be silver member. And from uh, 5,000 to 10,000, you would be gold member. And based on those points, you know, you can decide perk or discounts that you want to offer uh, uh, or the number of points. Maybe if you are a gold member and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you would be basically given a different set of perks. And even when you are rewarded points, you would be rewarded a lot more points than, let's say, a silver member, which is how, uh, you know, hotel or airline industry works so that is one of uh, the way uh, i'm seeing merchants using it other is which is kind of unique to appsell as of now i don't know if there is any other app which has a referral program as robust as ours uh, we also have a referral in as part of loyalty and uh, uh, what that allows you to do is like you can refer someone else and you can get points and by the way this feature is provided by most of the apps where appsell differentiates itself is that 
on what action you actually want to reward points. Do you want to reward points just when someone visits the store or do you want to reward points when someone may actually makes a purchase or maybe makes a purchase of a specific product? So, you know, there are the nuances and do you want to reward, let's say if someone, um, you refer me and I end up buying a subscription product. So you should, should you be getting points every single time when I, you know, when my subscription is renewed or just one time, we allow all that. So there is that um, granularity that we have provided, which uh, to my knowledge, no, no other uh, program is currently providing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's super useful for merchants. Yeah. Okay. Now with a loyalty program, um, obviously you need to create some clarity there on what people get for their loyalty points and sort of self-management so that you can log in and figure out how many how does that work what's the best way to deal with that yeah so by default uh you know our app supports both uh loyalty widget you know when someone is logged in they would see their points on the loyalty widget uh, they can redeem points via loyalty widgets plus we also have a dedicated page and uh, it has a url yeah, if you would like you can uh, redirect your user to that specific page again it has everything uh, it would show you the activity rules that you set up for example certain merchants may not want to reward points for social media which i was uh, alluding earlier uh, maybe they just want to give points for make a purchase so you decide your rules uh, in the merchant portal and those rules then are reflected on the page uh, and uh, you know whatever rewards are uh, currently available uh, to the customer they can redeem it and uh, again, uh, one of the features that we have released, uh, which uh, is rare, I won't say it's not available anywhere, but which is, as we, we call it dynamic redeeming, dynamic points redeeming. Most uh, loyalty programs would allow you to redeem points only when you reach 50 points, only when you reach uh, 100 points, which is great. Uh, and that's how we started. But if you want to use your loyalty program for store credit as well, and the difference between store credit and loyalty is very minor. The only difference is that usually merchants give store credit when someone is returning something and you give points as you know store credits. And those need to be dynamic. Like you, even if you award someone 27 points, you want them to redeem that. You don't want them to wait until they reach 50 points. And so that's also something three or four weeks back we released uh so that's another uh but yeah all this information is available via widget as well as via page it's up to merchants some merchants like prefer page over widget uh we support both yeah okay i like the the example that you just gave um that you have a store credit and then you can basically use your points immediately when you check out and you're done yeah, um I, I had an example that i had a few weeks ago um with some rewards program where I even didn't know I have so many points and basically the purchase didn't buy anything now I was a very happy customer at that point so when it comes to reward points it does not work for every business probably um, are there specific businesses where reward points loyalty programs work better than others usually you know it's an incentivization technique and uh, I'm seeing it being used a lot on cosmetics like uh, merchants who are selling some sort of cosmetics. I'm seeing it a lot over there. But having said that, I'm also seeing, I mean, it, as surprising as it can be, I've even seen uh, merchants who are in hardware tools, just selling hardware tools, and they are also using loyalty. So to, to me, it's an incentivization technique. And, you know, as the saying goes, uh, whatever you incentivize, it grows. So the whole idea is that you, one way or the other, you want to incentivize uh, your customer um uh, you know, uh, like incentivize customers to come back to your store and loyalty is a great way. Uh, one more thing I would want to say that uh, apart from widget and page, the fact that if you also have install Excel subscription, you would also see all your loyalty points details, everything on uh, your customer portal page. So, you know, while you are managing subscription, you would also see that, hey, I have these many points and you can decide if those should be used to redeem for your, uh, your next subscription renewal. Or maybe you don't want to use it for subscription renewal. You want to use it for some one-time purchase product. So all that is available too. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's the whole benefit of it. Yeah. With the loyalty program, obviously you need to market that and promote it um, to your customers. And I know that you have a lot of um, APIs to other apps. Um, how does that work? What's the best way to get the word out? 
So uh, referral is really a great way because uh, what uh, merchants are doing is like, you know, they just activate the referral program and ask their existing customers to, hey, if anyone is coming to you through uh, via referral, you would get points. And uh, that's actually one of the most popular program we have in loyalty, I'm seeing, apart from, uh, you know, setting up activity rules for social media. So that's also something merchants do. Uh, what they do is like uh, they set up these activity rules that hey, if you would share our, uh, about our merchant store on uh, on Facebook or Twitter, uh, you know you would get points, and uh, you know they can activate those rules and uh, and ultimately you know uh, customer get points and as well as merchant store is promoted on these media on this platform. So these are the way. Uh, apart from like if. Uh, if you're talking about how merchants are uh, promoting their loyalty program, uh, there are many ways. One of the ways is email campaigns. Like, you know, they, they can run a blast email campaign to all uh, their customer address list and say that, hey, we have released a new loyalty program and all. And uh, But yeah, these are the ways that I'm seeing uh, merchants, uh, you know, utilizing uh, this tool or this uh, set of features here. Okay. Do you have any kind of example or case study on uh, successful merchants implementing a loyalty program? Uh, we have quite a few uh, who are using uh, loyalty, but uh, in terms of case study, uh, it hasn't got to that point yet, uh, where uh, like like subscription membership, you already have case studies. Uh, it's It's been, what, two, three months. Uh, once it basically reaches a point where we feel like, you know, it, it there needs to be a case study, we'll create one. But as of now, there are no case studies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there any, any kind of um, homework to do for a merchant before they start implementing a loyalty program? No, actually, in fact, it's one of our um, uh, easiest onboarding app. Uh, like, uh, you know, uh, this is something my personal experience that when you install subscription, um, it has a lot more technicalities in terms of, hey, you need to set up your product on subscription. Uh, uh, and subscription has its own uh, loyalty component, which um, I'll, I'll discuss in a bit. But So it's slightly more, um, um, I guess, intensive than loyalty because you install it. The very first thing you see is like set up activity rules and activity rules are essentially the way your customers would get points and there you go and then you know if you have set up activity rules the second thing you should do is like okay once they get points how do they redeem it so that's reward rules to set those up so it's one of the easier app to uh, install and th this is my personal experience because uh apart from you know developing and building i also uh, get into uh, support calls and you know discuss with merchants like oh, hey what are the things they are liking what are the things they are not liking and most of the functionalities that we have implemented is based on the feedback uh, the fact that our referral that I was mentioning is uh, probably at this point ahead of any other program is because of the uh, feedback that we got like hey can we have this sort of a functionality or that uh, that sort of a functionality yeah. okay how does it implement within your existing um, framework, within your tech stack, within your theme? What's the technical implementation? Yeah, so uh, let me first go over like how it started. So in subscription, um, you know, we had a small loyalty component that would allow you to, uh, um, you know, incentivize your customers to retain subscription. What, what I mean by that is in subscription as of now, as of today, you can set up something like, hey, if you stay with us up to third cycle, uh, you would get free shipping. Or if you stay up to us, uh, stay up with us up to eighth cycle, you would get 20% additional offs. Uh, if you stay, you know, up to 10 cycle, you will get a free product. So we already had that. And, uh, and we were also integrating with some of, some of the other loyalty apps that are out there. And that was great. But more and more, uh, merchants were like okay can we uh, you know uh, can we have a point system too where uh, you know they get points for you know staying with us and like that earlier we were like we were trying to push that away we were like you know there are already apps out there that are doing it uh, we are just gonna offer these uh, perks nothing else and uh, similarly from membership side we were also uh, realizing that people were asking more and more about that hey you are offering membership perks but I need a, uh, you know, sort of a dedicated widget where merchant uh, customers can go and check out, check out all their app perks. And 
You were like, yeah, that's also true. So uh, that's how it started. Uh, in terms of tech stack, uh, a tech stack for all three apps uh, is pretty, uh, you know, like a, a standard. We, uh, like I'm an engineer myself, so we use AWS heavily. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, AWS and completely like microservice architecture and uh, uh, very scalable. Uh, and that's why it has never been an issue whether that if you talk about subscription app, which has over 16,000 merchants, actually 17,000 merchants, or uh, loyalty app, which is like four, three, three months old app, uh, it just scales really smooth for us. But yeah, that was the reason we we started. And uh, in fact, initially it was, it used to be part of subscription, but gradually we turned it out, turned it into uh, a dedicated app, yeah. Okay, so we talked about the, the technical part, about the onboarding, give me an idea about the pricing, how does that work? Uh, so yeah, okay. So uh, the great news for all merchants who are hearing this, as of now, loyalty is a free app. And the reason being, we want to, uh, like I said, most of the app features that we are building is based on the feedback. We want it to be the best app out there. I personally believe because uh, I'm heavily involved. Uh, I think as of now, we are the best app out there in terms of features. Uh, you can't beat it. And uh, uh and the idea is to, you know, uh, and the only way we can be like that is because if we keep, you know, listening to the feedback of our merchants, and that's what we have done. So as of now, if anyone is listening to this, uh, all your merchants who are listening to this podcast, I would really, really uh, encourage them to install our app. It's free and it's going to be free for them. Uh, even when we introduce pricing here, it's going to be whatever features they already have, we would never charge them for that. Sure, if we build any new features uh, and they are part, if they happen to be part of a pricing tier, they will have to pay for it. But I really encourage, and uh, that's what I have encouraged. I've encouraged all my uh, subscription and membership merchants that, hey, uh, this is a nice opportunity to, and we, we uh, I, I, without naming, like we have uh, merchants who are using really popular, popular apps, like uh, the, uh, the, the apps that you can consider the best in loyalty. Uh, you know, they have migrated to, uh, to our app. And again, we have created a migration tool that makes it super easy mm -hmm. to migrate from any loyalty app. And uh, and yeah, this is a good time to install our app. Check it out yourself. It's not going to cause any issues. Uh, and you, like, it's not, you just install it. It's just going to take you two minutes of your life and you would see the feature difference and, and AppSell support is uh, well renowned in terms of your, the reviews and also, yeah, this is a good time to install our app. Yeah. Definitely sounds like that because um, for that price you can't beat it. And if you're grandfathered in for the future with the features, then, I mean it's, uh, it's basically a no-brainer, absolutely no-brainer. Yeah, we have been always very transparent with our pricing here. <laughs> Before we come to the end of our coffee break today, is there a question that I should have asked you and that I didn't? Is there anything that you want to highlight? Uh, probably, uh, uh, probably. What are the new things that we are doing with subscription membership? or loyalty this is something uh so yesterday i had a discussion with uh, a team of developers and uh, we are releasing a new feature where some merchants want to take away points if they see inactivity uh by a customer so let's say if you are a customer you have thousand points but you haven't made any purchase in last uh, uh you know i don't know two years we would give you flexibility what should be the inactivity rule so at that point we want to retire uh so uh, so that's something we are building on loyalty side on uh, subscription side, uh, side as of now the idea is to uh, like we feel it's super feature rich but is at this point we are more focused on integrating with as many apps as possible so uh, we are uh, you know doubling down on uh, uh, bundling apps uh, as well as build a box apps so that's something you would see uh, in membership uh, as of now, the whole idea is to make it more and more, um, I guess, native to loyalty app. So like I said, that we recently introduced this, that membership perks are now going to be available on loyalty. You would see something more along the lines. But yeah, these are the things we are working on. And uh, hopefully uh, we will, um, uh, you know, loyalty would be just uh, at par with subscription and membership app. Yeah, I like the approach that you um, put all of these together because it's at the end of the day, it's customer retention and bringing them exactly. back to your store. And if you have that coming from one source, then that's that's a great idea. Cool. Yeah. Where can people find out more about you guys? 
Uh, so we have our website, axel.com. That's one way. And over there, we also have a chat widget. One thing we take uh, pride about is uh, that we are 24-7 available. We make it make it a point that anytime you message us, we would message you back. So uh, <laughs> so please, please reach out to us by appsell.com. And from there, you can also check out our apps on App Store, Shopify App Store. Uh, that's, uh, uh, and then obviously we have our email too. So uh, support at appsell.com is one way to reach out to us. And if you happen to have installed our app, then again, over there also, you would see our chat widget. Uh, support is uh, one of our, uh, you know, uh, I think strong pillars and we would continue to keep it like that always. Yeah. Okay. I would, I will put the links in the show notes as always, and you just one click away. And um, obviously with having your app right now for free, I would encourage our listeners to try it out. Um, there's no risk there. And I think it's a really good solution that's on the market there right now. Thanks so much for your time today. Thanks for having me. Bye.